good morning everybody uh, so i am from orange renewable power as you know orange renewable uh, more on the wind side almost like 800 megawatt and on the solar side is a less than 200 megawatt the overall portfolio is uh, less than a 1 gigawatt level you know. so uh, my experience is I am just 25 years running, you know, from 93 onwards in photovoltaic. But most of the times I was in the manufacturing, and uh, I am to be privileged. Like uh, I have already audited at least 10 top manufacturing companies in India, and uh, total another top tier one companies, maybe 20 in China. You know, let us try to see, you know, how we can bring the values, you know, to, in OM with this kind of module experience, you know. Okay, uh, the overview I would like to take see the services and the issues, you know, what we face and then the, what are the different challenges, what is the quality assurance that we can bring to the modules and optimizing the power plant performance. So, the, in the services list, if we see the plant operations is the, the main, uh, you know, where we can earn the revenue. But uh, to earn that one, you know, we have to have, you know, the plant maintenance, the site maintenance, we'll go into the details on that, you know. And then performance of the whole, in, in it, how it uh, generates, you know, and the module cleaning, how we have to do with the module cleaning, what is 10 days or fortnightly or every month, you know, there will be some reference module, you know, from that we have to see the soiling as per the different locations. Then safety and the security is the most important uh, factor, you know, that for the power plant, you know. Then how do you maintain your different inventory management? How you, uh, you know, train your manpower for the training? And there are some maybe the local issues, you know. So the key services like in the plant operations, we have seen the performance monitoring and the analysis, you know. This performance monitoring mostly uh, it performs on the database management and the reporting, you know, how we uh, generate the overall power. Now we'll come down to the point like, you know, the performance ratio, the capacity utilization factor and the different auxiliary consumption as well, you know. But uh, there are some issues on the detections and the diagnostic. There are different tools that we have, you know, and how we, uh, you know, use those tools and get these things, you know. Uh, remote monitoring, how we uh, through the SCADA, uh, the SCADA systems, you know, how you did the data and how you analyze the whole thing, you know. So, module cleaning and the scheduling, as I told you, you know, this is also a, a related part, and we have to see that how the, the soil is, you know, uh, have the impact on your the generations according to you do the cleaning. You know, there are different ways of the cleaning as well, you know. The plant maintenance, like, you know, schedule for preventive maintenance, you know, so if you take care, you know, certain preventive maintenance, so you're operating of the whole plant will be, you know, the cuff will be going, going half, you know, the capacity utilization factor, you know. Then the corrective and the preventing obviously is another point, you know, like any other in the manufacturing unit, you know. The spare parts and inventory is a main part, you know, you have to have, you know, spare modules, you know, one of the things if the module goes wrong or if anything's in the data card, you know, on the or inverter or any other you know, electronic part that you have to have. Then site inspections means green cover and the vegetation. But this is also a very, very important factor. I'll show you some of the graphs, you know, how you impact on your, you know, kind of a hotspot or a kind of a generations, you know. The infrastructure management is also very important. Site security and the site surveillance, as you know, because you have to deploy at least, you know, uh, uh, for a 20 megawatt, uh, a kind of a, a power plant, uh, something like uh, 16 to 20, you know, the persons operating at eight hours or maybe 12 hours in the shift, you know. So security sites, you have to have a, you know, uh, the most important part. Then water management, most of the cleaning that, uh, what we do is a water-based cleaning that, but there are some adverse effect on that, you know, particularly on the anti-reflection coating of the module, you know. Then waste management, you know, how you uh, do with this kind of the water, you know, what will be the kind of the drainage and all, you know. The key performance areas, which is the the PR, you know, we like to see that, you know, if the plant is giving a 80% on that, you know, then we see, yes, it is generating a good, you know, <coughs> the the power output, you know. Then the cuff is also, we have to see, you know, where is the number is. Is it like in like 25% of that or 22, 24? So above 20, maybe 24, 25 is a, is a right number, you know. We have to see that the auxiliary com consumption, auxiliary consumption means if, uh, you know, there is a tracker based unit, you know, you have to see that how much power it also take, you know. So those are the factors, you know, that you have to, the key service areas. Issues, most of the issues comes uh, in the module, you know. In the module means, you know, the, the first is the power warranty, you know. So you have a, a legal contract, you know, where you have given like, 
in the warranty there is a two things one is that the product uh, something like you know some of the manufacturers give the 10 years somebody is giving the 12 years so product warranty is very very important you know because this will give in case of any kind of the module has got problem you know so it has to be replaced by the manufacturers then the performance warranty performance is very important like you know 25 years is a conventional but there are some manufacturers given 27 years some of the manufacturers are also coming up with a new technology like 30 years you know we will see in the degradations pattern you know so initially the first year degradation is two and a half percent and subsequent year is 0 0.7 percent but there are some indian manufacturers who are giving 27 years of you know uh, the product performance and initial degradations is two two and a half percent the first year and subsequent is 0 0.7 percent or in the other hand 0. 0.03 percent you know is the benefit on the year on year basis you know so we have to see that how the modules is getting defect but i have some sort of a on the a quality side to ensure that, that the module defects can be minimized you know the glass breakers these are the teething trouble you know initially when you install the you know your power plant that after uh, three months or five months or whatever the problem will come the initial problem will come there are a lot of micro cracks issues you know we will see uh, in a photograph you know how the micro cracks it happens and how to prevent this kind of activity. what kind of hot spot this hot spots because of the side wing and how it curves because of the bar drop or any other undesired you know uh, uh, the the kind of the side wing and the central you know these are the issues you know that is comes the other issue is something like you know the card failure in the inverter the transformer something like the oil leakage and all cable burnt you know rusting of the nut bolts in the structure or sometimes in the theft you know so key challenges like you know the optimum power generations to have the optimum power generations you know we have to have a irradiance irradiance is come you see everywhere you have have to have a, a pvc data you have analyzed and you have initially uh, thought that this is the kind of the generations you know so in the irradiance you have to see and continuously monitoring you know like what is that ghi and from the ghi if if there is a tracker or if it is a tilt angle so how it's translating into gti you know so this irradiance is very very important then you have to have a iv curve and the the voltage and the tilt angle you know at different seasons that how you optimize your whole power generations the cable and the interconnect reliability is also very very important but this is a whole uh, electrical you know the devices so also electrical leakage the the connections and the environment is very very important from the inverters point of view you know ac quality hard is coming out in the efficiency noise and harmonics voltage and current so this has, has to be have a you know maintained on that optimum level you know reliability to the grid linkage also the switches connectors transformer voltage and the current these are all the things that one has to be look into the you know most optimized way how to monitor then the orange declaims so that if if this kind of a problem is comes in for the module failure for any kind of reasons you know how to get this kind of orange claim the theft at site spare management the response time you know if it is a, as you know the power plant is not a in a, a very nicely located uh, by the uh, nearest airport where sometimes you have to travel you know from the nearest airport four hours five hours so you have to see that how quick response you know is, is the time you know and the nature sometimes you know because of the the weather if there is a huge rain and uh, something like that you know how the water has to be drained so there are some weather related issues which come the skilled manpower normally you know you get in a big cities you know a very uh, you know skilled manpower the availability of the manpower for the operations analysis and the trouble setting is also another issues you know remote location execution challenge like communication connectivity logistic for the repair and the deployment of the manpower is also things you know so with my experience you know i try to see you know how you can can you know protect uh, for the interest as you know the solar module is one of the 60 percent of the whole project cost you know so how to see so the module when it is in the manufacturing you get the best quality there are several level of inspection as you know uh, everybody in the contract that put a third party you know in the third party first they do the online manufacture I mean they check in the online manufacturing then pre dispatch sometimes they put these things in the third party laboratory to check the power uh, you know verification next thing is that the el inspection to check the micro crack next is that what kind of the lid you know as per your data sheets how this matches not you know next is the pid and finally you know the spectral response you know so there are several ways you get the best module but there are some challenges let us see in the the packaging and the loading and transportations how you are packaging the whole module and then how you transport whether the transportations you know it's coming in the right way to your site you know next thing is the method of the unloading you know 
if you unload, you know, the, the most of the important part, I had seen on the sides, you know, the side is not absolutely plain. You know, when you are taking out your palette and, you know, putting into the plane, you know, this plane is a little bit uneven. These are very, very important factor, you know, how to unload because there are, should not be any kind of a, a, a jerk or any kind of a, you know, mechanical shock that may create a kind of micro crack and handling of this kind of module is very, very important, you know. You see how in India, you know, it happens, you know, uh, if you, if you see the, after signing the PPA, you have a 12 months time, but eight months time it goes for your land acquisitions and other things, you know. And finally, it may because of the module cost is one of the highly capex cost. So it is coming by sea and it will reach in the sides. We have got only one month time. The people will work, you know, your sub vendors will work, you know, I mean, maybe day and night. So you have to see that at least two people, you know, the, it's not to be uh, carried by the, you know, head like that, you know, people should not uh, sit on that uh, particular module, you know, put, put, should not put any kind of, you know, your uh, the legs or put any kind of a, you know, undeserved kind of a mechanical, you know, shocks like sitting over there and how to handle it, how to put it in the middle. Thanks. So improper handling and this kind of a, you know, unloading may cause a kind of a micro crack and this micro cracks when it's separated. So the kind of the power, what you are expecting, you don't get uh, this kind of a, you know, power. Then uh, the installations and the monitoring, you see uh, the level here, you know, how the, the module has been, you know, installing here. There's a torque range, the tightening of this thing, the alignment of the whole thing, and then you have to check the polarity of the each module, you know, in the inverter level or maybe in a uh, SCB, you know, that each one is in the light priority, then cleaning of these things, you know, you should not use any kind of a, you know, uh, kind of a abrasives or any other material for cleaning and you have to see that it is rightly monitored and the optimizing the PV performance, you know, is uh, the things, you know. So, uh, most of the things is important like in a individual module level or in a string level, you can measure the power by the IV tracer, you know, but these measurements, uh, it's not the high accuracy measurement that you are expecting in the laboratory, you know, so something like so plus minus 4% to 5% is the variation, but you can have an estimate on that, you know. Then the, the portable EL machine, nowadays is very, very popular, you know, in, not in the daytime, this is in the night time, you can, you know, put in your, you know, in a string level or individual, in a module level, that if there is any kind of a micro crack, that you can check this kind of a tools, you know. Then another is that's very, very popular nowadays is the thermal imaging. The post installations, you know, you have to see that if there is a generation loss, you know, so you can appoint a third party. You know, there are uh, several companies has come up, you know, particularly uh, in India, there are two companies, but we are also talking some of the German companies to take the help, you know, if there is a kind of a, you know, peer is not achieving in a level like what were designed by the PVC. So, so you can have a thermal imaging on that, you know. Now drone based uh, aerial inspections is also uh, coming to be a popular in future because you can do a kind of a 20 uh, megawatt plant maybe in the two days time. So therefore it, it, it's very, very popular nowadays. Now this kind of things in a high way is so shading uh, due to the vegetation, how it can create a kind of, these are the, you know, the white areas, you know, so one should not see that how you, uh, you know, openly uh, see, check that uh, the vegetations may create this kind of problem, but nobody is telling you, but through the, you know, imaging, you can check this kind of thing. Some worm cells and the JB, you know, the worming also sometimes is happen, you know, the, there is some hot cells. So this is not as per the desired, uh, the module that you have expected, you know. So some hot cells are also may come because of the dust accumulations, you know. So something like thermal imaging also uh, check your the cable fault or the interconnect, you know. So I have uh, some numbers, but uh, don't uh, take it with the 20 uh, megawatt a kind of a operations management supervision. So manpower cost 20 percent, security cost is 15 percent, the spare power cost maybe 22 percent, you know, and then the module cleaning 18 percent. So if you add uh, like the supervision security, this is more than, you know, I'll say, um, uh, 60% of the whole cost, you know, then grass cutting and all the other guest house and the vehicle maintaining, you know. So my conclusion is that recruit the experienced manpower from the privy industry to further move operations and the maintenance. Ensure the train engineer follows the quality SOPs, you know, pre and the post installations. In. Educate the supervisors or sub inspector and uh, sub vendors and the EPC player for the flawless installations. Use quality tools to monitor and improve the power plant performance and reduce when cost on a year on basis. That is also the main objective on that, you know. So knowing all these points, that's true. We need to work together to improve our PV performance in future. Thank you very much.